Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are back with another Clan Invasion Battle Report. We're cranking them out. Back. Tom. I know, we're trying. I know. There. Trying, to get them, uh, trying to get them out to you guys as quickly as possible. Yeah. Jay Falcon doesn't sleep. We, we are on a war path. We're getting... We're the getting bird. Out. The bird never sleeps. Just <laughs> always, <laughs> always looking for prey. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> like that, yeah. So tonight, though, we do have a new army on the channel. Very exciting. So we got, Tom, you got your, your clan, Jade Falcon. Yeah. Delta. Delta, right. Your favorite. Yeah. Uh, and they're coming up against um, my Winfield Brigade. Winfield's Brigade. Winfield's Brigade. brigade. It's his brigade. Or Her, the planet's brigade. It's, it's a possessive It's a brigade. Plural, singular possessive. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so uh, we're playing on a planet called Persistence. This planet actually has really cool lore in the invasion. Um, this was one that you had called out when you had those printouts, right? Yeah. So Persistence is the location of Persistence Munitions, which was like a minor manufacturing um, facility, right? They, they basically pumped out auto cannon rounds or whatever for the, for the Commonwealth. Um, the CEO, right, this, this dude who's obviously rolling in cash, decides that he's going to lead his own personal security force in the militia against Clan Jade Falcon and totally like wins like in this initial engagement right and then of course they get angry and like kick the crap out of them but yeah i mean that's what they say happened but fake news yeah <laughs> jay falcon has our own wikipedia and we don't that's not that's what not, happened that's not what happened we got bored went home to oh eat some God. food and came back to finish the job later. right there was actually no battle yeah just didn't even know what was going on. Oh my god. What new can no, you just trust the news? You yeah. can't trust Comstar, we know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so anyway, <laughs> pay your bills, pay your bills. Uh, so we're in persistence. Yeah. And if this is after immediately after the events um, of that engagement. So what happens is the basically the persistence militia and the persistence munitions security force, they scatter into the wilderness. Some of them escape off world. And they rally deeper in the system in one of the outlying planets. Okay. And that is where our battle takes place tonight, Tom. Ah. So the Jade Falcon in pursuit, as we said, never sleeps. Uh, they come in, but Winfield, the system of Winfield, is only like a seven-day jump away. Okay. So they sent in a, a small task force as a rear guard to help evacuate um, the, the remaining you know, armor assets and mechs and things like that. I so. Like I'll we, buy that. You buy it? All I'll right. It. So that's that's our story. We've got Winfield's Brigade supported trying to by... Keep cannon. We're, we're trying. We're, we're doing working. our best. We're working, guys. Persistence Munitions Security Force. Right. We've got yeah. some some vehicles there, and they're, they're up against the Jade Falcon. So is that who's supplying your mixed arms? Is... Right. So all my vehicles okay. are the, um, the Persistence Munitions guys, and then Winfield's is all my mechs. So very exciting. We'll talk about the forces in a minute. Yeah. We are also playing Supply Chain. Supply Chain. So I thought it was thematically appropriate. Very consistent. You know, uh, this is actually one of the missions in our uh, most recent mission pack. I don't think we've actually played this one on the channel yet. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Yeah, I, I've never played it, so I'm going to say we've yeah. never played it. So exciting. All kinds of new things. Uh, we have a little bit of weather tonight. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit of minor dust. So A little bit of lava. A little bit of lava. Uh, yeah. Things obscured beyond 30 inches, but once everything comes into range, we'll be able to shoot. So a little bit of uh, razzle-dazzle during deployment, but otherwise uh, we'll, we'll be you know basically normal. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's take a look at the forces. Yeah. And I, I do want to say, though, this list was voted on by our patrons, Tom. We, we gave them three options. Yeah. Uh, so for, thank you to all of you guys, by the way, that our patrons really appreciate it. One of the perks we offered, uh, I believe it was Tuesday. We posted up three different lists. Tom was, yeah. Tom had, a, had come up with a few different ones. Wasn't sure which one he wanted to go with. Uh, so they voted the people have spoken. So it's six mechs and, um, two battle suits, right? So yeah. we have an adder prime to start. Love the adder. Really good mech. Uh, well point costed, I think. And, uh, one of the coolest looking mechs again we talked my love for canopy mechs <laughs> love it the hellbringer haven't played them yet this is the config b bruiser of a mech um i really love the model this is one of my favorite minis from the new clan invasion um so i'm psyched to get him on the board and check it out the missing's prime uh this is my least favorite mech so far i think like by far <laughs> It costs more than the Vulture somehow. It's ridiculous for like three pips of uh, you know total yeah. mass, but um, it's it's a good fast mech to have. It jumps. It's fun. It's it's basically a glorified elemental delivery platform. 
But then after that, the Nova Config A, which shout out to like uh, Battletech, you know, group on Facebook. Everybody was voting, you know, which was the best new clan mech, and everybody was saying the Nova. Model wise, no, like on the board wise. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Nova's great. It's an no, amazing mech. So I mean, versatile too. I mean, yeah. the different configs. I think they're all costed right. I used one in my Wolf uh, game against yeah, Kevin. I, I, yeah. I actually have another one primed because I want to paint another one up. Fantastic. Yeah, and the config I ran on our game too killed. Really killed. good. Really good, yeah. Um, and then the Viper config B. Again, another great mech that I like the look of. Not sure how this one's going to play. I don't recall if I played this one on our last time. I don't remember either. I don't think so. It doesn't wow me, but again, it's, it's fast as anything. Um, and has some decent armor, so I'm, I'm psyched to see what I can do and not get it blown up, <laughs> which is never assured. And the last uh, mech I have is the Vulture uh, Config C. Again, the Vulture somehow is way cheap for what it is. I think it, it again, costs 33 base, you know, at a skill 4. Mm. Um, and the Mistlings costs 27, so it's, like, really not far off. Right. Um, and it just does... Great has extreme range damage. It's a great mech. One of my favorites. Love the model too. My oh, favorite model to oh. Um And then the end of that is my two elemental. Um, what are they called? Stars? No. Yeah. Well, uh, they're point. Point. yeah, they're points. points. I think five points. of them are points. Yeah, yeah. five of them are point or five of them are. I don't know. A star. Point. Listen, clan lore eludes me sometimes. Yeah, I don't want to say the wrong thing. We'll get we'll get flamed. Yeah, but um. Speaking of flamers. Yeah, but speaking of flamers, they are flamer elementals. And uh, again, love the minis. Um, don't understand why they cost so much, but maybe, I don't know, actually, after the last game. I'm pretty excited about this list. Thank you for choosing it. Obviously, Clanners chose it and not like the IS guys who are trying to like need <laughs> to subvert your, yeah, yeah. subvert your <laughs> ability to win. Uh, so let's talk about what I have here on the side of Winfield's Brigade. Uh, supported by, of course, uh, Persistence Munitions, Inc. Security Force. Are they sponsored by <laughs> like... uh, It's possible. I've got um, a Marauder 3R. This one is a staple, uh, has been a staple. First of all, I love the new model. So, so And I have like four of them painted in almost every faction. Um, great armor, overheat, you know, solid across the board. Just a pain in the butt to deal with. Uh, I have an Archer 2R. Same exact damage profile. Same overheat. One more point of armor, but it does have all that indirect fire um, goodness on it as well, which I really like. Um, I have a Thunderbolt 5SE. Uh, now this, actually the Thunderbolt model uh, is, you know, obviously from the new, uh, the new uh, game of uh, Armored Combat. I love that model. Um, and this particular um, variant, the 5SE, has jump jets, which might be helpful on this terrain, as you guys will see. Love that mech. It's just so cool, right? And it's tough as nails. It's got as much armor as the... As Wait, the he has uh, jump jets? Yeah, man. How do you even jump something that big? 65 tons, really big jump jets. Oh, yeah, I guess. It's you know? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's meaty. Yeah. Uh, and then I have an Atlas RS. So there's an AS7 RS Atlas. This is the one I believe Rally Sport, at... Uh, Rally Sport, yeah. So it's got uh, the bigger turbo. Bigger um, suspension. Bad, better suspension, yeah. yeah. And it also has two large lasers in place of some of the other stuff... Um, but it's got um, of like just, 13 small lasers or whatever. <laughs> it's got, you know, great armor, 10 pips of, of armor, and 8 struck. So it's max across the board. Um, it it so lacks a little bit at long range, but, you know, goal is to really get that in a Thunderbolt into medium to really deal out some, uh, some paint. That's my main lance. Uh, I have a fifth mech running uh, vehicle liaison duty. So this is a Valkyrie uh, VOKQA. This is a light mech. Um, you know, costed right, decent damage, decent armor, um, should be able to support those vehicles, has jump jets, so can get around the board. Now, on my, uh, my vehicle side, I have two Goblin medium tanks. These are the LRM varieties. Um, they can reach out to extreme range with some damage. They have four pips of armor, so they're very sturdy, I think, for, uh, for what you're paying for. I mean, they're 20 points. They cost as much as your elemental point slash star slash squad. Yeah. Um, but I really like them. Um, and then I have two H7A warrior attack choppers. So very he excited. To, yeah, man. Um, so these things are going to be just laying low and then, you know, I want to get them, get them in range and just try to plink you at long and medium. No. But that is my, uh, federated Commonwealth force that will be defending. And, uh, 
VTOLs, uh, like helicopters, do they have to move in a straight line like aerospace stuff, or can they maneuver around in their movement? Yeah, they're very, um, they're very maneuverable. Okay. Uh, and they're very hard to hit. So right. be, they have very high What's TMM. TMM four? I think it's four with the with the helicopter bonus. Oh, okay. You know, because they get plus one for being helicopters. So that so doesn't show on their. Yeah, it's TMM three, and then it's like when you shoot them, it's an additional plus one. So effectively, it's like a TMM four. But unless you have what some special. Uh, yeah, flak. Well, if you have flak, that will, I do. My Hellbringer has flak. I believe. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, have to, well, I don't think we've used that against my helicopter. Yeah, we'll uh, anti <laughs> just anti air. Yeah. Right? It's LBX all day. He's like uh, riding on a tank, just like, <laughs> just like, a, like a Roomba. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, guys. Well, there you have it. There are the forces. We talked about the mission, the narrative. So yeah. uh, sit back, get some popcorn, and enjoy. Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll be right back. This is Dropship Command to Eclipse. Extraction site will be in Sector Echo 9. Dust off in 15. Hope you make it in one piece. Acknowledged. All units, this is Eclipse. Uploading nav points now. Attention, Freebirth Filth. You cannot run from Jade Falcon. Your dishonor has earned you death, and your meager defenses will not save you from my talons. This is Lieutenant Schneider. We need at least five more minutes to finish the evacuation. Long range ground radar is picking up multiple battle mechs on Charlie 2. Our turrets are down, but their armor is being overrun. I got visual cap. Five of them. Mark one, four, three. Eclipse, I'm about 700 meters from you. Should I engage? Over. Move into supporting position. Strike. Lock onto my target. Here we go! of persistence so actually the system of persistence tom the system we are on an outlying planet a volcanic world uh that is uh, it's an energy rich world actually there is uh, quite an established settlement here uh part of the of course the persistence munitions uh supply chain which incidentally is the the mission that we're playing mission. so uh <laughs> we have set up here's how the way supply chain works you can see the objectives on the board there are numbered objectives from one to six. I place the even ones, Tom places the odd ones. They're in prescribed bands, uh, as you saw in the, the intro sequence there. Um, and so we take turns placing them. And if we control them in sequence, then score points. Yeah. So I've got... Um, and so sequence is numerical sequence. Not numerical like, sequence. Not, not like two turns, but right. controlling one and two. So you'll see, like, I have three, five, I put one under the bridge, six, six there, two, four, and four, right. Mm -hmm. So it uh, looks like that middle ground, six and one, remember, those, it loops around. So six and one, that's going to be a kill box right there. Um, and if I can control this one, I can get five, one, and six. That's three in a row. I get even more points. Of course, here, if you took across. Oh, my goodness, the zigzag. Oh, it's going to be interesting. 
So anyway, uh, Tom is the aggressor here. He's the attacker. Um, but because I assembled the map, I let him pick the side. I thought that was only fair. Yeah. So he picked over there. That means I'm over here. But as the defender, I do move on to the board first. So we will be right back. Tom, are you, are you ready, sir? I am. I picked this side simply because I'm a big fan of geothermal energy. And this geothermal energy generator, I loved. Oh, look and at I that. wanted to protect it. Look also destroy it. <laughs> look at that. you really destroy nice. the things you love. Look at that really nice piece of terrain, courtesy yeah. of Ironwood Metals. Um, I do like it. I do Geothermal like it. extractor. I think I want to go get some uh, some smoke to put in those little... Smart. Well, you got to turn it on. We're, We're going to turn, turn it on. We're turn doing it. On. it. Turn one movement is uh, it's coming right up. Here we are after movement in turn one. Uh, so lots happened. I, uh, I was the defender, so I moved on first. Of course, we took our turns going back and forth. Uh, I have more units on the board right now, as I do have nine on my roster, and two of Tom's units are mysteriously not there. Why, where are they, Tom? Where are those elementals? Uh, so I'll tell you what I did here. I, two units revealed. Uh, one warrior attack helicopter spotted that uh, Viper moving in. Uh, and then also, I have uh, just a lone mech out here near Objective 3 on the right side, and then I've got... Uh, a cadre here up the middle. I have a nice tight cluster of vehicles uh, and then a lone mech out here on the left. Now the vehicle blips are for all vehicles. So those could be VTOLs, they could be helicopters, it could be a tank, uh, either way. So Tom isn't sure yet. All he knows is... What do you have, three tanks or four? Two tanks, two choppers. Let's, let's talk about this geothermal plant. Yeah, I turned, I was gonna say, I had the, the conductor start the... The, the reactor? The, yeah. Reactor online? Yeah, so now it's pumping hot liquid magma out of the ground <laughs> to generate electricity. That's perfect. Um, I mean, obviously we're all super into it. <laughs> all your mechs around it. Yeah. So what? So what exactly do you have going on here? You have a pretty big. Dude, I don't know. Yeah, don't ask what my my strategy is here. I, yeah, I don't know. I brought some up here. Brought some up here. Uh, what I'm gonna do? Honestly, don't know. Some of the feedback from last game was like. You gotta play a little more defense. Okay. But I don't know how to do that. You're just an aggressive kind of guy. And I'm a clan. I'm a clanner through and through, man. That's true. I'm going for blood. Well, that is definitely where the action is going to take place, right there in the middle of the board. So we are going to roll for uh, initiative, guys, and we will be back with turn two. Turn two and the persistence system. Jade Falcon now about to clash with Winfield's brigade and the uh, the indomitable. Persistence Munitions, Inc. Security Force. <laughs> All right, so Tom, some exciting stuff. I won initiative. You lost initiative. Badly, yeah. Do you want to talk about what you did on the movement side, and then I will uh, I will do my recap, sir? Yeah. So again, so the three mechs that were here, again, pushing forward, got some into cover. I brought the Vulture out um, to, again, get better um, shooting lanes yep. to help my advance, the Hellbringer. Came a little bit forward again just to get a better angle through those bridge tiers. Um, still hidden here. Don't know what he's doing, but he's there. And then um, the vulture making his way up the mountain. Viper. What is it? Vulture yeah. again? Yeah, he's a viper. You wish he was a vulture. Yeah, it'd be cool. But he's not. No, I don't actually because he's way faster than a <laughs> he is, uh, He's like halfway across the board already. Yeah. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. So that is the uh, Clan Jade Falcon move, guys. As you can see, a lot of units now revealed coming out of the uh, the magma haze. Just one unit on Tom's side, still obscured. I think I know what it is by process of elimination, but Should. I like leaving the blip marker on there anyway. Okay. That's up to you. Um, so let's talk about what we've got going on on the FedCom side. Uh, lots of units revealed here as well. So one Warrior Chopper, it's at level 7. Uh, was one of the uh, units that was key in identifying those clan mechs behind the, the water tanks over there. Uh, I've got two goblin tanks on this side as well, and of course their trusty uh, Winfield vehicle liaison in the Valkyrie. Um, no sprinting on this side. They all just did a standard move, so looking to maybe get some guns downrange. Um, it looks like you sprinted. Well, you're a liar. Uh, <laughs> so... I've got an archer. Uh, this is, uh, again, this is the new legendary pose, yeah. uh, which I like. The, it actually came out pretty good on the paint job. On the archer? Yes. Oh. 
Yeah, so because he is squatting, I can actually see under the bridge. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I do have line of sight, though, pretty clean under that bridge. Going to see if I can shoot that Hellbringer. Uh, we're just at 30 inches there. Uh, the Marauder and this other Mystery Mech both sprinting. And then my uh, my other remaining Mystery, mystery Mech over here also sprinting. Uh, the Warrior doing some shenanigans. Uh, went up a level, flew over the building, went down a level to try to shield himself from fire on that left flank. And uh, we'll try to put some heat on that dragonfly. But that thing is coming in pretty quick, so it's a bad matchup for me. We'll have to figure out what I want to do there. Could, might just abandon that entire side. We'll see. So, moving on to shooting. Okay, first up from Jade Falcon, I'm going to start on the right-hand side of the board with my Vulture. The Vulture has a clean line of sight down to that goblin tank on the outer flank. I'm going to try to do a little bit of extreme damage. So he's a pilot skill 2, um, shooting at a 1, so that's 3, and then uh, 4 is 7. Yep. Right, so we need 7s to hit. Not going to do it. That All was right. terrible. Um, get those rolls out of the way, I guess. So the Hellbringer's up next then. The Hellbringer's going to fire across at the um, Archer in the back. Just to let him know he's here. So a warning shot. So he's the same, he's a pilot skill two, it's a seven as well. All right. Because it's a, yeah, no difference. That works. All right, there it is, so one point on the archer. Okay. Okay, and now my viper's gonna take his shot at the um, helicopter. What's the name of the helicopter? It's a warrior, Tom. A warrior, okay. So I'm gonna take a shot at this wimpy warrior. Hey, oh, nice. oh, so I need nines. <laughs> Hard shot. Not gonna do it with that roll. I'm rolling bad so far, this is not a good, Gonna get some juju. Not a good opening for uh, for the Jade Falcon there. Dropping dice. This is oh, not man. a good look. Okay, All right, you're up. Winfield Brigade up next. All right, I got Slacker up in his archer. Uh, opening up those missile bays, Tom. Firing at that Hellbringer oh, man. on the other side of the board. Beautiful line of sight there. Yeah. Um, so I need nines, though, as I'm not a genetically engineered freak. Uh, so here we go. With sweet haircuts. True. The Jade Falcon have the best haircuts in all the clans. Get one. No. Yep. Get one. All right. So one for one. The Hellbringer and the Archer. Not too bad. Okay. I, I don't feel super bad about that. All right. So this Goblin firing across at the Vulture, lobbing in some LRMs. Just one point of damage here. Uh, these guys are skill three. These are the survivors of the initial Jade Falcon incursions. They leveled up. So I need nines again. Okay. One point of damage. Here we go. Nothing. All right, the warrior helicopter snapping off around at the adder. Yeah. Uh, so he's a skill four, long range. Adder looks great. Uh, so gonna need nines again, Tom. Let's see if I can clip another one here. Here we go. Nothing. And last but not least, this other warrior uh, firing down on the vulture. I'm gonna need tens with this guy. So here we go. <laughs> Almost a, almost a critical there. That would have been great. But one point on that vulture or viper. God, now I'm doing it. Uh, on, the, on the viper. It's a viper, guys. Uh, so I'm just going to call it a dragonfly. V's confuse me. Oh, I like it. So there it is. One point, and that's it. I'm done. So, guys, uh, we are wrapped up here. Shooting is complete on turn two. A couple of armor chips, uh, paint chips flying, but nothing too serious yet. Turn three coming right up. All right, turn three. Action is heating up turn here. Turn three already. It's turn three already, Tom. It's a true story. Uh, so we are... And we uh, still have blip markers. We still have some blip markers. I know there's some... Well, this terrain is very cool. These, uh, yeah. these bridge pylons proving to be uh, difficult for both teams to acquire some line of sight. So it's it's interesting. So yeah, so so my, my Jade, I lost. I moved first. Um, again, you know, if you remember, I sort of had them clustered over here. That Adder was in a bad position, didn't really have line of sight to anybody, so I brought him around okay. um, and tried to protect him a little bit. And then the Miss Links, again, the worst mech in the game. Um, Thank the patrons for putting that one in the list. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> um, I ran, sprinted him up to get him in the cover, because, again, he doesn't have extreme range on anything. He really wants to get in um, and harass some people. He has elementals on him, and let's... Let's not even lie about it. Yeah. Uh, and then on this side of the board, the Hellbringer came back around to get himself some cover. Um, 
Looks like Again, a shot on that one. He's really tucked in there. Yeah, he, he basically came around the tower and he's got his firing lane that he's concerned about and now he's protected. Kind of. um, the hidden mech is continuing coming up around this side. I don't know what that one could be. The uh, Viper. Got it right this time. <clears throat> got it right this time. The Viper uh, jetted up the hill okay. to again maintain his forward momentum. Very um, cool. Which gives him a little bump. Makes him harder to hit, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, he's got a team of four right now yeah. with the jump jets. That's insanity. All right, so on the uh, the side of the Federated Commonwealth, Winfield's Brigade at all, uh, I still have two mechs shrouded in mystery. Yeah. Uh, which Tom, Tom was speculating on which one was which. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, we all know. Tom thinks the Atlas is in the middle and the, the Thunderbolt's up here on the hill. He said I would never run an Atlas up a hill like that. Uh, for fear that it would get stuck, but we'll see you guys. You it's never know. so slow. All right, so what, do I, what did I do? I backed the, the helicopter up yeah. just a little bit here. Uh, I said he was at level two last time, but to clarify, it was two levels above the base underlying terrain. So technically level six, I, I did adjust that. Uh, so he's at level six, but you know, basically two levels under this, or above this uh, level four hill. Uh, so I got my Marauder and my Archer. They are going to be shooting at the Hellbringer. They got that, that nice line. I've got my one warrior that advanced up over the bridge. I'm going to see what he can do. Probably looking at the Adder or the Vulture. Uh, and then my vehicle show. contention, I've got one camping this objective. I've got the Valkyrie and one of the Goblins flanking out on the left. So Jade Falcon will be shooting first. We'll be right back on that side of the board. Starting with the Vulture again. Again, you know, didn't have luck on that. Uh, goblin last time, but we'll continue. He's now in long range and will take uh, three shots Ooh. at the goblin. Uh, needs six uh, sixes. Six yeah. is the hit, yeah. Six is the hit. Wow, misses right. one? That's unbelievable. Still, two points of damage on that goblin. Uh, Tom, that is a motive hit, yeah. a motive check. 2d6. Wow, I think that ends. That is going to blow a track. It's not immobilized, but that is... A slows it down. Okay, the Adder is again going to continue the attack on the Goblin. Uh, he's at extreme, so we'll do two damage and needs sevens. Right. So, he came around and he's coming in hot. Sevens on board. Definitely not with that. Okay, I'm getting this Viper out of the way now. He jumped and so he ha has a plus two to shooting. Hitting against a four TMM, so he's at an eleven um, with the being at long range. So this is like a what do they call it? A hail mary? Hail yeah. mary shot. Hail mary shot, but it's worth taking. You have two uh, two damage at long. Two damage at long, yeah. All right, so, so you know could happen. Not worth overheating right now. <laughs> Definitely not. Battle of the says don't do it. Wow, I thought I saw the five come up at first, and then everything flipped over. Mm. So okay, and last up on the Jade side will be the Hellbringer. He's going to continue firing at the archer, keeping, trying to keep him back. So um, that's a two, uh, six, seven. So he needs sevens. That's a, that seems like a low number for such a difficult shot, but such is the way of the clans. Yeah. This is all they do all day. They just practice shooting just each practice. other. That's all right, it. So you get it. All right. So one more. Point. So having luck on that archer. Yeah. One more point on that archer. You're starting to get banged up. All right, but we do get to retaliate. So. Yeah. Come up next. All right, so I'm going to start off with this Valkyrie. Um, so the only shot the Valkyrie has is against this Vulture. It's long range. Everybody else pretty much has some options. So if the Valkyrie hits, I'll probably stay on that Vulture. If he misses, I might switch off to the Adder. So uh, I'm going to need, I believe, a nine here. Uh, so three, five, eights. Okay. Actually, eights. Six. Oh, I thought that would <sighs> look good. It's hard to read those dark dice. Looks good. All right, Goblin up next. Uh, he is going to be aiming down at that Vulture as well. I decided everyone's going to just uh, stay on the Vulture. So two points at long range. I need eights. All right, so one point of damage on that Vulture. This warrior is going to fire at the Vulture. And uh, skill four, five, six, seven, eight, nine needs nines. Here we go. All right, coordinated fire coming in from this assault lance, both mechs, torso twisting, turning, firing at that Hellbringer, just nestled in cover over there. So uh, what I need is um, I need 
tens and nines. So slacker is a skill three. Uh, wild card is a skill two. He is actually not the lance commander, but he's the best pilot. Best pilot in the bunch, Tom. So we're going to start with the archer. Uh, here we go. He needs tens. Not happening. Cool. All right, so wild card. Come on, wild card. Here we go. Looking for, yeah, yeah. looking for nines. Ooh, oh, I saw the three. Ooh. Oh, man. All right, well, the last thing I have here, depression sets in. show that face you made. <laughs> depression sets in. So the warrior on the far side of the table firing down on the viper. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is a skill four. The vipers, somebody said eight, and they're at okay, long on. range, Tom, right? Uh, uh, so yes, eight, they're nine, still so I need range. an 11. I need an 11. Same as me. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if you have better luck than I did. Right, because you jumping is the same as me on a normal day. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What an awful round of shooting, Tom. This is awful. All right, well, guys, that wraps up turn three. Fedcom vs. Jade Falcon, Battle for Survival, it's coming right up. Here we are, turn four. All units have been revealed. Mechs jumping around, lasers, missiles, gauss, autocannons. It's getting intense over here. Uh, the fate of thousands of evacuees here. And just my pride. And your pride, yeah. against my pride. Yeah, your pride against thousands of people's lives. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it seems like a normal <laughs> Jade Falcon story. Uh, so, <laughs> like, what's at risk for you guys? You're like, well, you know, we'd be really upset about <laughs> it. We, we would get at least two dislikes on the clan Facebook. Yeah. Um, so, here's what happened. I lost initiative, so for, for once. Tom, I think it's the first time you won initiative aside from the opening round where I had to de facto move first. Right. Uh, so... What happened? Some, well, weird, some weird moves. Some weird moves. So my uh, Valiant damaged Goblin out here. You know, the Persistent Security Force, it's like a mall cop. I, I just assume that like the throttle's stuck now and he can't stop. He's going <laughs> to ride right into the bridge. Right into the bridge, but he's taking the Vulture with him. Uh, he's going to try at least. Uh, the Valkyrie vehicle support moving uh, out as well. This other uh, Goblin popping out. Uh, see what we can do there. Um, this chopper up on the, uh, you know, sort of pivoting around, still at level seven. Uh, I've got my two heavies, they're advancing. My Marauder changing disposition slightly, was trying to get a shot uh, out on this uh, open field, but Tom very intelligently positioning his mechs. Uh, the Archer still has uh, line of sight to that Hellbringer, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then I've got Eclipse and her Atlas. She is the Lance Commander here, Tom. Yeah. Uh, this is a beautiful Polygon Masterworks Atlas. This is another, a different sculpt uh, than my Oberon one. Just wanted to take a minute and show this one off. Very cool. Um, sort of hunched over, you know, blowing up whatever's below it. Uh, so very cool sculpt. So that one, uh, she she's basically looking down at that vulture. Hopefully mm -hmm. I can get some shots across. And you had been lurking for this sort of gotcha trap. Where yeah. you're gonna come around and then have you know you thought that I was gonna use that as my I I cover. did or did I did I push you away from it I don't know I don't know it's well, you definitely pushed me away but from you it. did fall into this trap or I mean maybe you just intentionally sprung it uh, Thunderbolt uh, climbing up the hill uh, now has some line of sight on this Viper with those little elementals dangling off of it uh, the helicopter moving around the building dropping down to level two uh, might have some shots on this Nova which is now revealed. Um, so Tom, tell yeah. me what, uh, what you've got going on on your side of the map here. I'm in a very precarious spot, so basically, and, and winning was huge for me this round, winning, um, initiative. initiative. Yeah. Yeah, so the first thing I did was, um, if I remember, yeah, it was move the vulture up, because I knew that I was going to... The dragonfly. Yeah, the dragonfly. Did I call him a vulture again? Yeah. Oh my god, a viper, the viper. The Dodge Viper, zooming up the hill with his V10. Mm. Um, and now that it's all resolved, I can tell you what I was thinking here is like, I was thinking about putting him back here to hit these guys in the back, because yeah. I knew you were going to pop out. Um, but then I was like, oh, we'll see. I didn't actually expect you to get up that hill so quick. I did not think about that. Yeah. But fair enough. It was the eventual goal. And then with the Nova, the same thing. I had him here so that he could sort of get up into this fight if needed, but also to fall back to protect those, the center if you started, which you are with your giant heavy 
mechs coming into the center. The Hellbringer's keeping his spot um, because, again, I know you want to get to that six. I want to um, get to that six, Tom. Yeah, and, and uh, again, with, with the low armor, uh, I need to punch some holes first. Um, the Adder was back here more, um, and he was a little... I didn't realize last turn how he was going to be vulnerable. Yeah. So I moved him up to, again, block some of the heavier fire. Um, the Vulture moved before the Atlas came out, so he stuck in his little cover spot. But he does have a little bit of cover from the Goblin tank, which was the intent. Oh, that Atlas does uh, does, yeah. does, does uh, have line of sight, although I don't think she has real good extreme range, like one or two, I think just one. Yeah, I, I remember was talking so, that so I mean, long range even, I yeah. should say, long range is one. Um, but, and then, but that left my uh, Mist Links in a bad spot, uh, so I used the Jump Chest to get up and get out of, because if I ran through, you know, then all the, right. I could just fall on me. So. Yeah, the bridge will block line of sight from the Marauder and the Archer. Yeah, um, and so... The, and the goblin and stuff, and so hopefully, you know, we'll see. All right, so the goblin here, uh, the Valiant Security Defense Force, going to be shooting up the bridge at uh, Terra, Terra getting raised, going to be firing at the mislinks. I need oh. nines. Paul Blart, Mark, Maul Cop, right? <laughs> yeah, armored, armored cavalry. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, dang. Doubles down, Tom. Paul Blart. Paul Immortal <laughs> Immortalize. Immortalize. You never make fun of mall cops. Yeah. All right. So there is a chance that this will hit the elementals. Um, right. And we actually just remembered about the Viper as well. So we rolled that. Uh, Viper got hit. So we're good there. So two points of damage. That means I'm going to roll two dice, right? Because we, we actually had a, a, one of our subscribers recommend this. Since we're doing the variable damage roll, makes sense to roll variably, right? Or the multiple hits roll, whatever, whichever one it is, right? Yeah. It makes sense to roll two dice. So for each five and six I get, the damage goes to the elementals. One through four, it goes to the mislinks. Sure. Here we go. So one and one. Ooh. So mislinks takes one, elementals take a point. Yeah, sorry, guys. All right, so Valkyrie now into the mislinks. Uh, same deal, gonna need nines to hit. Up on that bridge. Miracles, miracles do happen, guys. Miracles do happen. Is that a five? It is. So I get one more. Now, we're going to roll uh, five or six goes to the elementals. It does not. So the mislinks is stripped of armor. Moving on. All right, can I make magic happen? This goblin firing up needs nine. Same deal. Just within medium range there. Two points of damage. Here we go. Okay. All right, and this warrior needs nines. Uh, he's, a, he's a little bit worse of a pilot, but he's actually in short range, so it washes out. Can I destroy the mislinks? Here we go. It is in force withdrawal, so that's kind of a win, but I need to knock this thing out. Here we go. <laughs> that's the second time in a row he's rolled double ones on that gun. That dude definitely has an ammo issue. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we've got wild card and slacker. Still staying on that Hellbringer. Lance orders are in. Need nines and tens again, Tom. Uh, so nines for wild card, tens for slacker. So we'll start with the archer. Wonder if I'm. Oh, go. Wonder what? Say it. I was gonna say I wonder if not standing that Hellbringer still is gonna pay off or not. Anyway, here we go. Looking for tens on the archer. Oh, I see. All right, so another point, uh, and then doubling down on the PPCs, blasting. Out of that Marauder, mm. uh, wild card, known for his luck, natural aptitude. Wasn't that what your character had in Mech Warrior Two? Yep. That's an RPG. The Here best. we go. Uh, need nine. That hurts. That hurts. So three points onto that Hellbringer. So I've got Axe in his Thunderbolt, popping up. Just, just popping up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nines. Just All nine. right. Just not just nines. I'm like a medium eight, range. Yeah. Where are you rolling? Uh, uh, you know, right here is good. How, how's that? All you right. Yeah, there you go. So need nines. Here we go. Three points. Damn. I got one. See so what I you need one. to do is not hit my max. But... All right. Uh, so that is it. The helicopter did drop down a level, so he doesn't have line of sight. Uh, the Atlas out of range. She can't hit anything or see anything. She scared everybody. 
Yeah, everybody ran for cover. <laughs> uh, so, gotta get her into medium range, but we'll see what happens, guys. So, Fedcom's done. Jade Falcon coming up next. Okay, first off for the Jade Falcons, the very, very aggressive um, Miss Lynx. So aggressive. So aggressive for how crappy he is. Uh, is going to fire down on the Valkyrie. All right. Um, so he jumped, so he's at a minus two, or a plus two to hit. So he's a four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah. eights. Three two damage and eights. Got it. Okay. All right, so one point on that Valkyrie. Yeah. Nice shot. Okay, next up, the Vulture will fire under the bridge at the um, Valkyrie as well. Mm. Uh, so he only needs sixes, and he does three at medium. That's so meaty. a little bit better of, of a potential. But wow, um, that's awful. That's just one point of damage, Tom. The luck is not on your side. Had you landed all three, yeah. it would have been internal. That Valkyrie would have been in forced withdrawal. Yeah. So the Adder's up next. The Adder is also going to fire at the Valkyrie. All right. Now we're mad. Now we're mad at everybody. Jade Falcons are always mad. That's true. We are kind of always aggro. Um, <laughs> but now I think he's in long. Yeah, he's just on the hair. Yeah. So, so he's so he would need sevens then. Uh, yeah, he needs uh, sevens. That's right. So does three, same as medium. So it's not the worst, but needing sevens. Let's see if we can get a little bit better of a luck here. <laughs> points of damage and that Valkyrie has one pip left, is in force withdrawal, and you get a critical hit here, Tom. Right. So 2d6, a seven, so that's a motive hit. So hip blown, leg actuator destroyed. Okay, so next up is the Hellbringer, continuing on with his nemesis, the Archer. Mm. Um, what's your Archer's name? Sidewinder? Slacker. Slacker. Sidewinder's a great one, I should write that down. That's a good one. Sl Slacker's a great one. Slacker's a great movie, too. Uh, yeah. Is that John Linklater, I, I think? I mean, Tom, you are Boyhood. the king of pop I don't, Yeah. Love that movie, though. Um, yeah, so he's at a, a two uh, piloting at extreme, so that's six. And then, yeah, seven. Seven? Yep. Okay, so sevens. Here we come. Or I hope. Take so one point at extreme. Seven! Got it. All right, so another point on that archer. Well done. Now the Nova is up, Tom. Yeah, let's roll into it. So the Nova's the same. He's got a... a Good last set. It should be the same. Yeah. Right. Seven. Sevens to hit. It's crazy how anxious a seven. Wow, I got one. All right. So one. All right. So two total points of damage on that archer. Chipping Not away. bad. Chipping away. But it's funny how like you think it's with. 2d6, it's like a 7 seems like a low number, but you're like, am I gonna get it? Am well, I so you know, it's 50 50, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's funny. Yeah, so he jumped, so he's at uh, base, uh, base 4, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, right? Yep. So 7s, he does 2. I'll try to roll it right here and not get it all over the place. Sixes, wow. Oh, that's close. Did I do all the right. math? So right? you four, did. 5, uh, 6, 7. Yep. Dang. Yeah, well, they, I mean, listen, they were so surprised to see each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Just shots flying everywhere. Um, all right, well, that wraps up turn four, I believe, Tom. So we're moving into turn five. Yeah. Winfield's Brigade valiantly holding the line here. Uh, so we are in control of objective one, objective five, uh, and objective three. All of our objectives we control. We need to get one of these here. Uh, I got my eye on either two or six. I mean, I think that is unfortunate, that one in the back there for, if I had some faster mechs, maybe, but no locusts in this one. So, yeah. turn five, it's coming right up. Turn five, this is usually when hell breaks loose. So, so far, supply chain has been an interesting mission. Um, it's created sort of this uh, area of contention in the center of the board, this triangle of doom. Uh, although four and three here also contiguous. So lots to think about strategically as we position our mechs. Uh, I lost initiative. Basically, I continued my wall of wall of iron advance here. Classic House Steiner. Thunderbolt actually backed up a little bit. I was afraid of getting those elementals. Um, Attached. Up my butt. Yeah. yeah, so the helicopter moved around for a rear shot uh, on that Viper. That didn't work out. Uh, Eclipse and her Atlas plowing up the hill here, trying to get to six. 
the archer moving uh, up there under the bridge, and then of course the marauder, wild card, uh, just moving out into the open, seeing what he can do. Uh, over here, my little vehicle contingent and that Valkyrie. So uh, Paul Blart con continuing his reckless advance, the throttle stuck down, smoke billowing out of the tracks. Uh, the other uh, goblin here just moved a little bit under the one inch mark, so counting a stationary. Uh, and then the Valkyrie also uh, in withdrawal, but uh, did pass its morale, so was able to just move back one inch. Probably putting some fire on that vulture. And then this other warrior here uh, coming down off the bridge, moving into the backfield, trying to cause some havoc. We'll see uh, where he decides to shoot. So, Tom, tell me, what are your Falcons up to? Yeah, so the Misslings had to move back. He lost his uh, morale. So he jumped down six inches straight back. Yep. Um, after a little bit of rules lawyering. Yeah, um, lookups. Yeah. We figured out that. At first, we had read it that the elementals could basically disembark and then embark onto the vulture that was right here. But the rule states that when they disembark, they cannot use any further movement. Right. So even though they were within range and all that fun stuff, yeah. it wasn't actually legal. So we retconned that off camera, and the elementals jumped off here so that they would be in range of the warrior, um, the weak-wheeled warrior, as yes. we call them. That is classic Jade Falcon insults. Classic. The, the Vulture, same thing. Very worried about where he was with the heavies coming. Ran up to get some cover. Um, you know, not quite sure what I'm going to do. I think, I, I was talking about, I think I'm going to shoot at that Goblin tank. Because again, the Valkyrie is in, cannot cap. Right. So if I do that, then that five cannot be controlled. And that's a helpful thing for me. Yeah. Um, or a force to to pull a unit back from the advance, so that's helpful. The adder, very exposed, I was very unsure he was here. The um, the marauder had a good shot on him, um, and I thought, you know, we talked and focus firing on that. Um, Archer seemed to make sense, so I moved him to this side. Probably should have kept him over here, and then tried to take out that other goblin. This was a bad idea, but We'll so hopefully it, it doesn't bite me in the ass, yeah. yeah. And then again, the Hellbringer is keeping down his position. Again, I know they want to come in on that six, so he's holding steady because they're coming at him anyway, <clears throat> even though he's nice and protected. The Nova, same thing as the freaking Adder. Bad positioning. Um, stupid for him to go up against an Atlas. I don't know what I was thinking, but he's doing it, and that's what it is. Um, and then up here... Because I won initiative, I was able to outmaneuver the warrior, the uh, wistful, wandering warrior. <laughs> um, Classic Jade Falcon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, again, so I was here. So I took him out of range. So Yeah, he, backed him out. So he just lost a mech firing for this round, I think, unless he can get another shot off. But, so, and I, I dropped the elementals in short range, and then the viper is in medium range. So... Because he does two at either, mm -hmm. so it'll be a little bit better, and they'll be there. So hopefully I can take that out so it can stop getting rear shots on me, and I don't have to worry about it. Or it can stop trying, and I cannot worry about it. So that's sort of my tactics for this for this turn. I like it. I like it. Yeah, again, I but always comes down to the dice, right? Like, we know that. This, yeah, it's this, true. Yeah. And I have had some, uh, I've had some uncanny luck. I was reflecting on it while you were moving, like, the, you know, the, the early 10s and 11s. Uh, game changing when you have such, you know, such little armor. But we'll see what yeah. happens. So again, I lost initiative. Winfield's brigade will be shooting first. Stay tuned. It's coming right up. Yeah. Got Slacker in the archer. He's against his arch nemesis there, the Hellbringer. He is going to be firing a delicious 40 LRMs in. I need nines. I close the gap a little bit at long range. Uh, I get an extra point of damage here as well, which is always nice. So again, looking for those nines. Hellbringer, out of armor. Can we can we land some luck? We cannot. Wow. Oh, thank you. All right. So Eclipse is up in her lumbering atlas as she crests that hill. It's going to unload on that Nova. Now the Nova does have partial cover. Thirty-three percent of that mech uh, is blocked by those uh, those giant outcroppings. So one I need eights to hit, Tom. 
Could have been sevens. Could have been sevens. But, that might save that Nova's life, to be honest. Uh, it's four damage. I love this. And I could overheat if I wanted, but next time, maybe. All right, here we go. Looking for eights. Unbelievable. It's, it's that turn. It's the turn. All right, this warrior's up. Just zipping in some machine gun rounds into the back of this Mist Lynx. Gonna see what I can do here. Um, need eights. All I need is one point of damage to put this thing out of its misery. All right, wild card is up in that beautiful Marauder. Uh, see if he can turn the luck around for us. So skill two, long range. Gonna need sevens. Oh, with cover, I need eights. Right. Freaking Hellbringer. <clears throat> Hiding. He's a honeypot, man. He's, he's tasty. <laughs> you, you just I don't. It. Oh, if I get two points here, it puts him in withdrawal. Yeah. So here we go. Just one. one. Oh Just one. Lord. Just one. But that is a critical hit, guys. Can I score some luck? Double ones. I've been rolling them all night. Here we go. No, of course not. Eight. I think that's a, uh, a weapon hit. All right, so this warrior here is going to zip off some rounds at these elementals. I only need a five uh, as they have a zero TMM this round from disembarking. So hoping that I can land this. Okay. So one point on those elementals. All right, so this group is gonna focus their fire on that vulture. We'll see if we can get a win. Uh, so far this round has been abysmal, but I did have luck earlier in the game. So uh, it's washing out now. Need sevens to hit the vulture. He's stationary, but there's partial cover. So uh, does, I wish he did three. Does two points of damage. <laughs> two points of damage, here we go. Ooh. Okay. All right, so that's a good opening. So two points of damage on that vulture. Okay. So Saint is up uh, in his withdrawing Valkyrie, does two points of damage at medium range, uh, is going to need sevens as well, because no partial cover and uh, was not stationary. So, there we go. Okay, so the vulture is stripped of armor, not quite internal yet, but can Paul Blart? Armored Cavalry Hero. Can he do it? Let's hope not. He needs sevens, Tom. <laughs> Same deal, yeah, medium range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Come kill, on, kill come my, on. my favorite mech. There's a five. That's so a he gets one. He gets one. All right, so one hit. So that doesn't, that does put the Vulture in force withdrawal as he has three structure, right? So that is a big win and... Unbelievable. I know, you hate the, the lack of internal structure. It's, it's the worst design. Yeah, awful. I don't know. Uh, so, critical hit. Here we go. Critical hit. Gyro. Seven. That's a motive hit. Nothing special, but Paul Blart coming through in the clutch. Okay. Um, first up for the Jade Falcon will be the Viper and the Elementals against the uh, a Wounded Warrior. <laughs> he's not wounded yet, but I think he's about to be. So I need eights from the Elementals. They'll do three at short range because of the heat. So hopefully I hit something. So I need eights, I said. Yeah, all right. With that heat ability, it does that extra point against vehicles. That is, there you go. Got two. All right, so that chopper toasted. Blown out of the sky. Okay. Those elementals are already paying dividends. Okay, and on this side of the board, we're going to continue against the, um, the wandering wild warriors. And the alliteration. Yeah. It's impressive. Um, the elementals are, again, in short range. It'll be the same, an eight to hit. Uh, they'll do the same three damage, hopefully. Um, didn't count. Didn't count. Ouch. Okay. All right, so that's one. Uh, so the warrior not destroyed, but is in forced withdrawal already. And the warrior will suffer a motive hit. Yep. Um, so I'll roll two, and it's a plus two for being a rotor. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, the VTOL type. <laughs> They crash. They crash, that's right. So that, uh, that that one pip, it's just blown to pieces when it hits the ground. So that warrior also destroyed the Airwolf element. is down. Airwolf is oh, down. Great show. That one I know. <laughs> More Jade Falcon nonsense coming up. Okay, um, my vulture is going to fire at Paul Blart. Um, again, extensive <laughs> conversation about which of these three targets I should shoot. They're all medium. It's hard to know. Um, because Valkyrie is in force withdrawal, mm -hmm. not a very meaty target because can't cap, only does two damage. 
Paul Blart does two damage, has been having good success doing two damage. Yeah, Paul Blart's been a pain. <laughs> um, and can still cap. This guy back here um, is undamaged, and it would be the same. Even though he was, a, I was like, oh, you know, he didn't move, so we'll not have a TMM. Yeah, you but, can't put him in force withdrawal. Yeah, and because of the um, motive hit, he is also at a zero. So yeah, exactly. It was, a, it was a good opportunity to take advantage of that. Yeah, just take out a unit if you, if you can. If you yeah. can deal all three, you'll put them in withdrawal. Yeah. And so I think I only need threes. You only need threes. Yeah. So uh, is that is that possible? It's crazy, right? He's a he's a pilot two. It's medium range. Plus and there's no one. TMM. Yeah. That's three. I feel like we're missing. I feel like we're missing something. But yeah, no, what are we, <laughs> it just seems wrong because it's nah, so there's low. No, yeah, there's yeah. No, it's right. TMM. <laughs> so let's hope I can get honestly as long. Oh, as no, I no, no. Medium range is plus two. Oh, yeah, so, so it's you need a four. four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit more reasonable. If you say so. Well, Matter, so. so you get a floating critical and three points of damage. So Paul Blart, still in one piece, Tom. Well, wow. however, he's in withdrawal. You get two critical hits, one for going internal and one for your floating critical there. Okay. I'll roll the floating critical first. So nine. nine. So against a vehicle, that is a weapon hit. Okay. Oof. All right. And the second one. Got it. Wait a minute, so on a vehicle, that is not killed. That is an engine hit. Are you kidding? I know, it's a different table on vehicles. Oh my god. Uh, so that is not killed. Paul Blart lives, Tom. I literally thought in my head, I was like, Satan, you can have my soul if I can get this 12. <laughs> and I should have asked for an 11. You should have asked for an 11. Oh this my is god. what happens when you deal with the devil, Tom. It, uh, it's exactly the deal it's with exactly the devil. Like, hey, you got your 12, buddy. You but got your guess 12, what? buddy. I'll see, I'll see you in <laughs> 10 years. Oh my oh. god, I hope not 10 years. Um, but, mm. listen. I'm being optimistic. Paul Blart, in force withdrawal. <laughs> still alive, he's still alive. somehow. He's still alive, he's got a weapon hit, Engine. he's got a motive hit. Uh, oh yeah, oh, you have to roll a motive hit for this as well, this round. 11. Uh, so that is minus 50%, minus 50%. This, this tank, all sorts of messed up. He's hanging in there. Unbelievable. The Persistence Munitions Inc. Security Force showing its metal, guys, right here. This is the force to be. All right, so we'll be right back after I track all this damage. Next up um, on the J Falcon side, the Hellbringer. He is the most limited in his target selection, so he will go for his arch nemesis, the Archer. The Arch. Love it. The Arch Archer. Arch, ne the Arch Archer. Uh, he's he's got two at long, and he's gonna need uh, I think we said sevens, right? Two, three, four, five, sixes. 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 Okay. He'll get one. Oh man! Yeah. Another point of damage. Dude, he's just like. Pit, 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 pit. Yeah. Yeah. Not so good. So I mean, I, I might as well continue on, and because the adder's now gonna continue on with the archer. All right. Um, and I just want to check. So three he points. yeah he does three points as well. Yeah, so he's Her reaction is a little same deal. Sixes yeah. at long range. Man, that adder's a good mech. Such a the adder's good mech. My favorite. The Nova's good mech. Love them. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the mislinks is garbage, but we'll talk about all this in the yeah. after action report. Yeah, it's not over yet. So I think they need the same. Yeah, uh, sixes, right? Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. So sixes with three. I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it over here. Cool. I get one again. Wow, that, that archer just like, hey, 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 hey. that's because he's squatting down. Yeah. All the shots are just going over his head. God, thank God they sculpted little, the model that way. A little hair cut. <laughs> okay. All right, so you've got this Nova up. That's the last thing. So think about yeah. that, and we'll be right back. Okay. Uh, last up on my side, the Nova Cat against the Atlas, the funniest matchup of the night. Um, he needs fives. He will do three at medium range. It's all three hits. Three hits. All right, so the medius. Atlas sh shrugs it off. Yeah, like uh, it couldn't it, happen it, against like a lighter mech. No, right? no it's gonna be the it's one that has like a 10 armor. armor, right? <clears throat> so that wraps up shooting. Turn five, it was sort of uh, anticlimactic. Usually, usually more happens, although yeah, you, turn six is coming up. 
Yeah, we traded our bad, uh, our bad juju rounds. Yeah, it's true. I mean, Paul Blart with all sorts of status effects and Can't hits. He's alive. Zero damage across the board. He is. Uh, he's likely going to be withdrawing, failing his morale. We do have some morale tests to make. We'll do those off camera, and then we'll be right back with turn six. All right, guys. Here we are. It is turn six now, Tom. Yeah, this is getting so serious. It's so serious. We're so serious right now. Yeah. Uh, For once, the jokes have stopped. It's just dead, it's dead serious. The bubbly is flowing, but the jokes are. That is true. Are dead uh, so what do we got going on here? Well, I lost initiative again. Uh, it's like I feel like it's like three turns in a row. But tell you it, what it actually did. is three turns in a row. I think. Tell you what I did here. So Paul Blart failed his morale. I needed an eleven not to break. Unfortunately, he, even not even Paul could maintain his composure. Uh, so he is running back. Uh, of course, he only has one movement, so he basically moved two, can't shoot. The uh, the Valkyrie, Saint, however, Again. Uh, gained his composure. He's doing real good. Uh, he's taking a step back. He's got the Vulture in his sights. He's got the Mislinks, so some, some meaty targets. Um, and this Goblin maneuvering around, still stationary. Um, let me put my little marker on him. Boop. So he's still got that stationary bonus, uh, and he's got good line of sight to uh, this field of targets here. Marauder pushing out into the open. Atlas, she's up and around that hill. The Thunderbolt, uh-oh, uh, Thunderbolt's in trouble. And then my That's Archer did a little tomfoolery, kind of moved around the pylon to block line of sight from the Hellbringer and the Nova, uh, and was looking for shots down the lane here at the Vulture, uh, maybe the Mislinks, we'll see. Maybe even that Adder, uh, who is not yet in withdrawal. So, Tom, tell us, what do you have going on here? Yeah, so, um, again, start over here. It's the simplest, you know. The Mislinks recovered, still forced withdrawal, but can shoot this turn. Don't know what it can shoot, but whatever. The Vulture did not, rolled a three, needed a five, I think. Yeah, that was awful. Very sad. And again, favorite, I, th I feel like sometimes, when you really like a mech, it just comes back new to New model you. syndrome. Yeah, new model syndrome. So, same thing. The elementals are making their way over. Um, the adder was over here, and I was debating which way to bring him. But um, I'm less worried about the archer than I am the marauder, because yeah. you get a little bit of a range, you know. And I'm also, I can't get double teamed by the... Um, just a, you know, if you yeah, decide to turn them on them. That's a delicious adder sandwich right yeah. there. So that seemed the smartest move. And it, and it was the only mech that could get a line of sight on the archer, actually. Yeah. Because he did that move, I think, after I'd already moved um, the Hellbringer. Yep. Um, and same thing with the Hellbringer. I was going to bring the Hellbringer over here to get a shot off of the archer, but then I would still get hit by the Marauder. Bring it on this side. I limit myself to the Marauder, or I'm sorry, to the to the Atlas, and um, potentially that Archer. I'm not sure if he has line of sight to me or not. I don't. Think. No, I think he's too low. Yeah, and same. I can't hit it's him. Pretty big. Same thing. Nova fries. in no man's land. This is like you know playing tennis, and, and if you do, you know, he's like a, in front of the baseline, like a dummy. I don't know what that means. Get, gonna get balls at his feet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you get it. But so the only thing I could really do was again advance to the service line. So I'm coming up on that. I'm, it's that is an album. Yeah, it's, it's so what Jane Falcon do. I picture him with the with the sweatbands. With, yeah, on, and the like, short the, shorts. The short shorts. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. High socks. They um, do like a batch all on a tennis court. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it'd be so funny. But it's the same thing. So he you know, he only moves five. Um I don't yeah, he only moves five, so he really couldn't get anywhere useful. So Got bring it. him up and now he's getting a little bit of cover. It's the best I can do. Yeah. Um and that brings me around to the Viper. So the Grand Viper. Viper. Yeah, so if you recall, he was over here and they were in and they were they killed off that um, oh, warrior, yeah. The warrior. And so that the elementals embarked on the Viper and then the Viper jumped his full eight because he jumps a crazy amount, landed, and then they disembarked into base to base because they can't move any further, but if they disembark right. in base to base, they're there. And that's a legal move yeah. per the rules. So now they're in base to base, convenient. They can do their anti-mech attack. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah. But we'll see, man. Winfield's Brigade pushing up the center. That Atlas barely damaged uh, the, the Marauder unscathed. So we'll see what happens. 
you know, the Jade Falcons, they could rally or they could crumble. Federated Commonwealth, Winfield's Brigade, coming right up. All right, Eclipse kicking us off in her mighty Atlas, uh, still aiming down at that Nova, uh, just epically unleashing missiles and lasers and auto cannon rounds into this clan mech. I do four damage at medium range, Tom. I need seven to hit. Boom. So that is four points of damage and a floating critical. Oh, I didn't even notice on that. On the double sixes. Dang. Here so, it comes. See, you get it back on the next turn. It, it comes around, Tom. It Ooh. comes around. So that Nova was fresh. So not internal yet, but the through armor critical, and that, I believe, is an engine hit. Yikes. So that is an engine hit. That's brutal. That XL engine proving to be fragile. More shots coming in, coming right up. All right, so uh, wild card shooting at the Nova. Uh, actually, the Atlas needed eights, but we, we just checked. We got all eights anyway. Uh, this guy needs sevens, because there is no cover uh, on this one. Or is there, Tom? Yeah, there is. There's cover? Yeah. Okay, so then he also needs eights. We can bring the camera down to show. Just destroy the Brooklyn. <laughs> Crush the <laughs> Bridge is going, buddy. Uh, all right, so need eights. Here we go. Wow. Critical no. hit. Wow, what? No. Two so oh, it's only going to be it's only going to count right. as one, but that goes internal. Yeah, regardless. So it's going to be two. and it's going to be two crits, right? Yeah. So here we go, crit number one, a four. That is a fire control hit, and then a six. That's a weapon hit. Uh, this Mac, this Nova, all of a sudden coming around in no man's land, said just eats it, and I believe that Mac is now in force withdrawal and has one pip remaining. Yeah, could be a game changer. Yeah, slacker torso twisting, unleashing more missiles, raining down on this adder. Uh, so I'm gonna need eights again. Eights my uh, eights my number for the night. So here we go, missiles raining in to here. Here we go. Do three damage at long range. Nope, not this time. Valkyrie to the vulture. One point. Need eights. Here we go. Nothing. We're going to roll right into uh, the goblin, who is actually going to shoot at the um, the adder. Now, I don't know if I have line of sight here, Tom. You do not. Do not. All right, then I'm going to shoot the elementals. All right, so we're going for the elementals through this uh, through this truss here. Hard to see here, but there. You can kind of point them out there. Yeah, these guys there. There you go. Yep. Uh, so basically, I'm skill two because I'm stationary. Three, four but five because they're battle armor. Uh, and then plus range, six, seven, eight. So. Only eights with a TMM of three? TMM of two on the, this guy here. No, they sprinted. Oh, it's only two. Yeah. Yeah, because it's one to two. Yeah. And then you get a plus one because they're. Battle armor. So it's yep. three. Yeah. And they're what, four? Uh, there are three. Oh, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then minus one for stationary. So eight. There you go. That is what I said, right? I believe so. I don't remember. I don't remember I either. Here we go. Know. Two points of damage uh, at long range. Got it. Got it. That could be good. That could be dead. juicy. They could be in. They could no, be. They're dead. they're dead. I think so. Yeah. So LRM salvo reigns in, blows the element. That's huge. That keeps my marauder alive. I was the marauder was pretty scared because he heard oh, what yeah. happened to his buddy last week yeah. <laughs> or two weeks ago. <laughs> All right. So Tom, that is the end of shooting. Okay. Except brutal. Oh yeah. What's gonna happen here with him? He's gonna do some some stomping. He's yeah. gonna stomp okay. the yard. I believe that's what the kids say these days. Yeah. So he's a heavy mech, he does three points of damage. Base, he can't shoot, right? Well, I can shoot out. Oh, okay. Uh, I could potentially shoot the Viper if I wanted. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to. I just want to step on some elementals. Okay. So in melee, uh, basically, they're TMM zero right now. I'm right. skill three, so I'm working with a three. In melee range, the long range targeting rules don't apply, so it's essentially short range plus zero. So I'm working with a three to hit their battle armor. I need a four. All right, now we agreed um, last time we did this. We were like, oh, well, you know, when we do melee, like with a hatchet or a mech kick or whatever, it's one roll. But then one of our subscribers, might have been the same guy, was like, you know, like there's lots of battle armor, there's lots of infantry running around, you might hit some, you might miss some. 
So we decided to also do this as a variable role. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I you know, because yeah. I mean, maybe I only step on one. We'll see. Sure. I'm looking to step on all all five though. Yeah, I mean, with a four, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get. So so squashed elementals. All right, but and not those before. Are, and those are dead too. Yeah. They're destroyed. So two elemental base is knocked out, but not before, Tom, you get the strike back. Yeah, so let's see what can happen. Jade Falcon coming right up. All right, here we are. We're back in the Crucible. <laughs> Starting here, Tom. Yeah. What do we got? So first up, the I'm going to attack with the anti-mech attack from the elementals. All right. Um, I'll need a six. Again, you know, their pilot skill four. Yep. Um, he's a TMM one, and an anti-mech attack costs an extra point. Right. So sixes. Nothing. Yikes. Okay. It's not looking good. So we're going to defer on the Viper for the moment because I might want to target the Atlas in a long shot. But the Nova's up next. The Nova will overheat one, do four damage to the Atlas and at medium range. Um, so that's four, five. So I need fives. Wow, I do one point of damage. Okay, the Hellbringer is gonna try to reverse the tide. Um, it's a hard reversal. Yeah, two points into the Atlas at long, so it's gonna be uh, five, six, sixes. Okay, it's there two pips. Doubles down. Okay, next up is the Mist Lynx. Um, he's able to fire this turn because I made morale. Um, he is in the rear arc of the Atlas, uh, again, with the way that you measure in alpha. So he'll do an extra pip at long range, so he'll do two. And he needs um, five sixes. Yeah, we took out the, le the, the laser line, and it was going into the rear of the base just slightly. So yeah. it's, uh, it's fair as fair. So here you go. Can you, can you get some luck back? Oh, not even my close. Oh, God, dude. Wow. It's not, it's not happening for me this turn. Okay, trying to salvage something. The adder is going to fire into the rear arc of the Atlas. Again, he just has that sort of same arc that the Miss Lynx did. He also is like just around the side to be able to see the Atlas at all. Yeah. Um, just peeking out there. Yeah. And so instead of firing at the archer who I can't really hurt that bad. Um, I'm going to try for the Atlas and try to stop this forward momentum that the um, the Winfield Regiment has. Winfield's Regiment has. Cool. Well, we're still the Brigade. We're the Brigade. <laughs> so we become the Regiment after Jade Falcon dismantles us. That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, that happens later. Cannon alert. <laughs> so, so he'll do five this turn. So this could be big. I mean, if I get I only need sixes again. Mm, yeah, so, so you're overheating long and the extra damage from... The long range uh, mark there, or yeah, I'm sorry, from the rear, the rear arc is what I meant to say. Yeah. Right. Okay. Roll it up. Sixes. Here we go. Okay. Tom, taking deep breaths. Switching the pilot dial. Switch Madness. the pilot dial. God, that's risky. I mean, it, it can't be worse than it was, right? But still not great. So I get. So we still get four points four. of damage this now. One was cracked, obviously. Uh, so you did strip the Atlas. Had it not fallen off the mat, it would have been good. But would have been good. But I still have the Viper to shoot at him. All right, so Viper coming up next. Okay, so the Viper is going to try to recover some honor and fire down at the Atlas. Um, needs eights because he jumped. He does two at long. He has overheat, but he does not have overheat long. So unlike the Adder, cannot yep. overheat right now. Um, so he'll need eights. It's doable. Not with a one on your pilot die. But that was close. Could have had a crit. It's just it has not been in the cards for you this turn. Uh, so that is the end of a decisive turn six. Uh, yeah. That was big. I mean, the Nova got absolutely mutilated. Two bases of elementals destroyed. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that's a tough round for Jade Falcon. So guys, turn seven, coming right up. Turn seven, guys. It is uh, we're on the edge of a knife. So lots of things happened here. And thankfully, uh, I won initiative, which was very beneficial. 
So Tom, tell us what you did here on the clan front. Yeah, extremely, extremely beneficial. So <clears throat> these guys uh, made the morale but can't do much. So they just moved back slightly, which ended up not being great because now they're blocked from the Marauder. They don't really have anything else to do. It's great. Um, <laughs> the Adder came out of his cover to post up against the bridge because again, now the Archer's out of range. Right. Um, I can get into the rear. I don't actually think I can. I might be able to. I'm not really sure, but maybe I'm in the, re the rear of the Atlas again. I thought I would. I actually thought I was going to draw the Marauder back so I could shoot him with the Vulture, but it didn't work. He moved forward, blocked my line of sight. Good, good tactical move. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And then um, page out of your book. Yeah. The the Hellbringer came around a little bit more to keep on. The Atlas, really nothing more to do with him. The Nova had to move straight back. Um, can't shoot this round because, again, lost. So then the Viper jumped his 8 back here so we could shoot at the Atlas as well. Thought I could also block myself from the um, Thunderbolt, but uh, that didn't work out either. So it is what it is. So that's where I'm at. All right. Well, on my side, uh, Paul continuing his retreat. Uh, he is just... At this point, his vehicle is a smoldering wreck, uh, barely driving. So he's just trying to get to that uh, dust-off site. Uh, Saint continuing to make morale, backing up a little bit, valiantly facing down those clan mechs. They're all just slowly backing up, shooting each other. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. I moved this uh, goblin completely into cover. Need to hold five, because I'm trying to march on six. Um, we'll see what happens. The Thunderbolt chasing the dragonfly we'll get partial cover uh, against the attack there but at least i can do some damage the atlas uh, eclipse here she is stripped of armor uh, but still marching up the center that nova uh, god willing won't be able to hit the broadside of a barn you know it's got the fire control hit and the heat so it's basically a, a gunnery five to start um so you know we need you know we'll see eight still because it's clan you know something like that uh, and then the Hellbringer, we'll see. So the Atlas still could get fragged, uh, which would put a damper on my plans, but I have Wildcard uh, poised to take Objective 2 next turn. That would give me an Objective Point, uh, you know, which would be critical for this game as it is still 0-0. Zero to zero. So, moving into shooting, Jade Falcon coming up first. Okay, first up from Jade Falcon, the Mistlings is going to take a pot shot at Paul Blart. Um, Poor guy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the Mislinx is okay except for all the other stuff. So he's a 2, 0 TMM, 3, yeah. 4, 5, right? Yeah, just a 5. He'll get it. So he gets his 1. Point. Paul, Paul take it. Finally. Paul, done. I hope he got out alive. He was a legend. <laughs> he was. He was a legend, guys. Persistence. Pays off. Munitions. Uh, security force here. Well done, Paul. Yeah, Godspeed, sir, on God retirement. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, the Vulture is going to fire at the Valkyrie. He does three at long, so oh. this could be good. So he's one at a TMM2. Yeah. So that's a four, five, six, seven. So sevens. This mm. could be the end. Oh, one hit. I think, that, I think that's all you needed, Tom. It is all you needed. So that Valkyrie goes up in smoke, two mechs. Two units, I should say, on that left flank of the Federated Commonwealth side. Toasted. Blown to bits. Okay, uh, we're going to skip over the Adder for right now to go to the Hellbringer. Because he has just a direct. They're in uh, medium range now, so he'll do four damage this turn. Um, it's two, three, four, five. So he needs five. Jeez. So not. Uh, four know. damage puts that Atlas into withdrawal. Gets it all. Gets right. it all. No okay. criticals, uh, oh. or no floating criticals. You yeah. do get a normal critical, though, for dealing internal damage. Ten. A 10. What is a 10? A weapon hit? Fire control. Fire control. Ugh. All right. That well, hurts. that is huge. Okay, the Viper's up next. He needs eights to hit the Atlas, because um, he jumped. Not the best, but let's see. He gets one. Man, okay. you are on fire right now. That's another critical hit on that Atlas, Tom. Let's hope for something good and not a miss. Ten, ten again. Ten. Another fire control hit. Wow. Sensors blown. This Atlas is flying blind. 
the adder, um, we made our decision on rear arc, no rear arc. Um, made my decision on overheating, not going to overheat. Um, does three damage at medium and needs um, fives, right? Two, four, five, and then plus one for the heat, right? Okay, yes. So sixes. Sixes, right, with the heat penalty. Good memory. Yeah. So, um. So three more damage. Atlas goes up in smoke, destroyed. Okay. That is huge, Tom. All right. That's all she wrote for Jade. All right, They're, so Jade Falcon is done, but they've taken out the Atlas. That's a massive blow to this force. But let's see if the Winfield Brigade, let's see if they can retaliate. Stay tuned. All right, so this Valkyrie, as the Gauss rounds slam into its chest, it is just going to be firing off one last salvo of LRMs. Okay. You need a seven. Here we go, Tom. I get it. You get it? All right, so that's going to be a critical hit on the Vulture. A six. So that is a weapon hit. Okay. That is not bad. That's a good return on investment. Wild card. He's in that Marauder. Um, I need eights. I need eights to hit here, this Nova. So I'm firing across, this is the only mech I can see. Is he getting any cover? I don't think there's enough of him uh, covering. Nah. What do you yeah. think? No? Nah, there's not. He's good, he's got a nice juicy shot. All right, nice juicy shot. So guys, here we go. I'm looking for eights. Enemy mech destroyed. I think we only have one left, right? So uh, one or two at two at most, so that Nova goes up in smoke. All right, so Slacker just pounding this target with LRMs. Switched off uh, last round on the Vulture, but just re refocuses here on this Hellbringer. I'll see if I can put it into withdrawal. I need nines, but one will do the trick. I didn't mean that kind of one. <laughs> All right, uh, well, listen, Eclipse is up. Uh, this is her, her last shot before she ejects into this volcanic wasteland. What's she gonna do? I think I might split fire. I think I'm going to go three on the Hellbringer. That's going to be my primary target. Okay. And I need sevens. And then to hit the Vulture, I would need nines. I think they call this adding insult to injury. So this she's going to go down in a blaze of glory. And let me think. So this Hellbringer has three pips left. All right, here we go. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's, let's see. Let's see you what can, happens. Can... Actually, wait a minute. I'm overheating, bro. So I'm going to oh, go I three. And, I'm going to go three and two. So I'm going to go two against the Vulture. Uh, three against the Hellbringer, overheating. She's just mashing the yeah. buttons. Here we go. The benefit of winning initiative. That's true. Oh, make it good. That's three pips. The Hellbringer's destroyed. There you go. Ba -ba 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 Boom, internal ammo explosions all around. Okay. All over the place. And then just the arms swinging out, blasting across at that vulture. Sorry, buddy. I need nine, so. What a hero! Yes, dying breath. Dying Beautiful. breath destroys two clan mechs. You couldn't script it. Oh, that is brilliant. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know the vultures are so great. I just love them. Mm. Uh, wow, that is that is impressive. All right, so my last shot of the night, Tom. That that um, thunderbolt shooting into the viper. All right, Thunderbolt going up against this Viper. Um, can't shoot into the rear arc because the, the rear base, I can't actually draw in along the line of sight yeah. into it, right? Because I parked. You, you did a good right job. Against. But I can still see enough of the mech. It will yeah. get partial cover. I'm going to need, uh, so three, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to need tens with partial cover, Tom. Gross numbers. But you've been rolling good. Oh, oh I get two. Um, it doesn't do anything special. Yeah. But man, that that is uh, that is a good roll. So two more pips on that dragonfly. I think that's it. That is the end. That is true. So uh, we will uh, we will confer. But guys, stay tuned. Turn eight. We're after eight. action report. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go away. We decided to do it. We're doing it. It's turn eight, guys. Uh, Tom has Tom Wait, has no, it's a turn plan. nine. I think it's turn eight. Turn nine or turn nine. Oh. The, the graphics don't lie. It's been so going on forever. the graphics say on the screen. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's turning. We believe um, in computers. So, uh, we actually, we, we, we were talking about, I was like, listen, if I win initiative, 
I'm probably going to win this. Let's roll initiative and see. And then we rolled initiative, uh, and we tied. And then Tom won with a 12. A 12. Dun, dun, dun. So it was a sign. The the Falcon gods have, have spoken to him. But um, yeah, we'll see. So let me tell you what I did on my movement. So the goblin came rumbling out because, you know what, I don't need five anymore. I've got three, I've got two, and I've got one. All right, so that means I have three in sequence. It means I'll score two objective points if I have all three. If my archer goes down, I'll still have two and three. If my marauder goes down, I'm in trouble, but I don't think that's going to happen because... I don't have enough mechs to shoot him. Also, this mislinks, you rolled a three on the morale. The mislinks broke and is running. Yeah. So, this is, a, this is a fight. It's a scrap to the bitter end. The clan's not giving in easily, but I think this turn will define it. So, Tom, you get to uh, tell us what you did with movement, and then you can begin shooting. Yeah, so again, not a lot of units left, and I'll be quick about it, but, you know, we talked a lot uh, just about playing this through, and we theorized what would happen, so now we're going to see, but I really wish that the mislinks hadn't cut and run. I was hoping to have him stay here to at least harass um, the, marauder. the Marauder a little bit. But, but I mean, he would never hurt him. Yeah, the Marauder is fresh. I mean, fresh. you would need, you know, some some double sixes a few turns in a row, you know, or in a right. few rolls in a row, rather. Um, but... Oh, yeah. Watch. Watch it happen. No, don't do it, because you'll waste them now. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's not waste them. So, <laughs> so that done. <laughs> and then um, the Adder, the same thing. He was against that pylon didn't have a shot on the archer and I said like the, I think the best route for me is to try to take out the archer no matter what Aaron is going to score a point um and I could either have the viper try to contest three and limit him that way but I think the viper will get killed one-on-one -on -one with a fresh thunderbolt so I jumped him down the adder the viper both going to fire at the um archer and try to take away at least one point and give me a little again moral victory yeah. Um, give the clan some pride in their failure. Um, since that's where we're at. So right. the only thing that matters is if I can take out that archer. All right, um, so let's roll it up and see. Yeah. Okay, first up for Jade Falcon will be the Adder. He is going to overheat, um, bump his um, heat level up to two. Best mech. Best mech. Love this mech. But, um, so he'll do four damage this turn at medium. All right. And he already had one point of heat, so his t so he gets his... Yep. He's up one, so he's three, uh, four, five, six, right? Okay. So six is to hit. Do or die. And it, wow, that's awful. The Viper does two, and I think I, I moved to get into medium so I could run overheat on nice. him. Nice. So he'll be right. three. Okay. And he's fresh, but he's a four. Now, he hasn't overheated yet, right? No. Okay. But he ju just jumps, so he's four, five, yeah. Four, five, seven. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yep. so sevens. Okay. Um, he does have a clear shot with that incredible jump. Okay, and he right, gets so three. There it is. So you do get that critical hit, Tom. Double ones, double sixes. So close. So close. If only it was a vehicle. If only it was a vehicle, Tom, that is an engine hit. Yeah. All right, so we've got this goblin and the archer firing at this adder. We're going to see if I can put it in withdrawal or out of its misery. The goblin's up first. He's going to need a seven to hit. Here we go, Tom. Okay. Just roll. Don't do it. Oh, damn. Two points. Two points. All right, so rolling in to the archer. Yeah. Also needs sevens. Tom, I'm going to overheat. It's going to be four points of damage. Four points will destroy him. Three points will be forced for withdrawal. So that's where we're at. I'm sorry, Adder, I put you in this position, but it's your fault. It's your fault. I'm sorry I put you This is your fault. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, oh no. A one on the pilot. It's pass. a total whiff, guys. Total whiff. It's a total whiff. That adder survives another day. Does that thunderbolt have LOS on him? It does not, but I'm gonna shoot the dragonfly. All right, my boy Wildcard, firing through the wreckage of the Atlas into that Epic. into that dragonfly. Um, 
I need nines though because of that that jumping TMM. It's it's insane. So I do three points of damage at long range. Here we go. Ooh, nice. I got one, just one. One on that dragonfly. I think he's stripped now, right? He is stripped. All right, so the thunderbolt firing across at the dragonfly. Uh, I do three points of damage. Look at that. Just uh, on the cusp of medium range. So uh, I'm going to need three, seven, eight. I'm going to need nines again, Tom. Nines again. Can I can I pull something off here? That dragonfly is destroyed. Toasted, Tom. Toasted. Toasted fan. It's done. <laughs> All right, so guys, that is the end of turn eight. Tom only having the adder, my favorite of all clan mechs. It's an MVP, but uh, not enough left to, on the board. to score anything. So One, one adder, you. not enough, guys. Buy yeah. more adders. I'm going to go to my Kickstarter and add them right now. <laughs> uh, I did see them up on Aries Games and Minis, by the way. Not available yet, but... Selling mi si singles? Uh, no, the that packs. would be a, that, yeah the, the Lance packs. That would be amazing. They were well priced, under under nineteen bucks, I think, for uh, for a star. Uh, but anyway, I digress, guys. Stick around. After action report. Good game, Tom. So we will wrap this thing up. Here we are on the battle grid in the system of persistence. The survivors of the Persistence Munitions Corp and their Winfield's Brigade allies have successfully fended off in just an absolute nail-biting finish Clan J Falcon, allowing for thousands of survivors from the initial uh, invasion to escape to a neighboring system. Of course, only probably to be chased down by more Jade Falcon forces, but you know. Right. And I would also say dishonorably clean. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think it's, <laughs> it was a pretty successful rear guard. It was, yeah. So guys, this was a great one. Uh, supply Chain really turned out to be a fantastic mission. Really enjoyed it. Uh, the battle was so close. Uh, it could have gone either way, I think. But we're going to talk about all that and more in the After Action Report, so stay tuned. guys there it is 300 pv another one uh so that's our fourth clan invasion bat rep all right so let's talk about that let's talk about that. let's talk about that. all right so a couple a couple of inflection points early in the game you give your perspective i'll give mine okay early in the game it's i landed nice. way too many 10s and 11s for uh I so mean, so many early shots and we went you know we were going tit for tap early on but then there was i think turn three where you maybe whiffed a whole bunch, and I was laying in damage, yeah. uh, and that was critical. That was a big turning point. Um, it, it didn't really do much then, but again, you know the clan mechs are so lightly armored. Um, you yeah. know because well, it they takes have speed. one extra pit. It yeah. just takes a couple of lucky rolls, and then that's it. So that was the first thing, um, and then of course. My favorite of all was when the Atlas double killed at the end. Oh, you know, that was beautiful. Like, arm, arm, <laughs> yeah. missile swap. <laughs> it was beautiful. So cool. Um, so, you know, overall, I think it was good. I think uh, Paul Blart, Mall Cop, MVP on my side. Excellent. Or the Atlas. I mean, the double kill was great. But Paul, Bar Paul Blart. I mean, Paul, Paul Blart, he's in his, like, little go-kart with the with the large laser bolted <laughs> onto it. Yeah. Yelling. <laughs> The kids. Oh my gosh, it was good though. Um, what did you think? Yeah, um, uh, the force was good. I think um, that was uh, list two or list B. Um, yeah, that the patrons picked. Yeah. Yeah, they all they all played well except for the missed links as usual. I was I was trying to get those elementals into position. Yeah. And this is the second game where that didn't really work out necessarily. Thankfully, it did on the Thunderbolt. 
Right. But that was a total uh, whiff. That was so sad. Because it was that beautiful. Was... Like, I got him there, and then they just whiffed and got stomped. Imagine death. how that would have changed the late game. Yeah. It if would... you would have had those elementals running around in the backfield, I wouldn't have been able to cap objective three. Because, right. I mean, I really think the Thunderbolt, I probably would have killed the elementals in melee, but he would have been so messed up. Yeah. Um, you know, he would but have then... taken a critical. He would have been, yeah. you know, probably stripped of armor. But, but yeah, then the missed. biker might not have gotten the shots on the atlas that took him down. It's true. And then you might have kept the butterfly six effect in five, and then you got it anyway. Yeah, it was really. I just, you know, fair point. I don't want to say I, I made a mistake necessarily, but at the beginning, you know, I spent a round killing the two helicopters. Um, I forgot they were even in this game. Yeah, well, you know, I I took them out. You know, I I think I did a good job there because, and it might have been an overreaction to past games where. They harass you in your back, and even though they're only doing one, when they're it becomes in your rear two. arc, yeah. it becomes two, and they're just pounding you with it. Yeah. And they're also preventing you from getting the positions that you want to be in. Right. So I I had the opportunity, it was in close range, like it was a good opportunity to take mm -hmm. them out, so I did it. Um, and then the same thing with the tanks. I've been burned in the past not trying to get rid of the tanks, yeah. so when I had the opportunity, I did. But what did that lead to? a completely fresh Marauder, a completely fresh Thunderbolt, where instead of killing that helicopter, I could have killed the, or I could have done some damage to the Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah. Same thing here, like, you know, a little bit different. But um, that's not to say you didn't play a great game, too. The tactics were, were good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, there, there wasn't much I could do without just some lucky rolls to, to defuse that center cluster you had. Um, yeah. They just have endless amounts of, Pips like so many. I bounced back, and and I said to Aaron like the whole reason we played it after those last two turns was just like it's just a bad way to end the game. You know, it was like oh, kind of sad. Just, well, yeah. Give the clan an opportunity to take some. Well, some it got scary. You came back pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I knocked down those couple units and um, regained a little bit of my composure. Yeah. But I knew it was a knife edge, like you said. So the viper, that jump of eight. It's huge. I like this variant because again it can do I like any mech that can do damage at long and extreme range. And as yeah. And has that, you know. And that's probably why it's a little bit more. I forgot. So I mean having jump eight as your base movement is is huge. Huge. Especially uh, when you're packing elementals and stuff. When you're packing elementals and then the fact that you it's got it does extreme it. Yeah. it does extreme range, it does short. Um, this is a good and then again, it has this. It has more than the mislinks, and more. It has the same as the adder. Yeah, same as the adder. Yeah. Um, so the Nova, Nova, that's, great mech, just best. Yeah. Best staple. It's like your. It's like the Wolverine of clan mechs. You know, like yeah. Again, so not, versatile. Tons of variants. Yeah. Well costed. Really like the Nova. Yeah. Again, thirty five. So very close not to the, the prime. Viper. The prime is very expensive, but the A, B, and C, really good variants. Yeah, and again, and it does two at extreme, which is so valuable. Um, they move with the with the clans. You know, people keep talking about them being good at range, and that's absolutely true. Yeah. But I think what that's hiding is the fact that the reason they're good at range is that they move so fast. So if you have a, a mech that can do two at extreme but moves five, uh, that's huge because yeah. you can sit there if you need to and make them come in, and then you can rush in on them and do other things like that. So Nova is a great center mech to get on your list. Um, yeah. I think the Hellbringer. I uh, don't like it. I don't like it. I love the mech itself. I love the design. I don't like it. But four four two one. I mean, it's powerful. But again, look at the pips. It's got less armor and structure than a rifleman. Yeah, four and four. But thirty five points. Again, so the same cost as a Nova. But the thing that killed it for me, and, and actually this is something I'll bring up. I played it wrong. It got into a position that it shouldn't have been in. Oh, and, like long range. It should have been. It should have been in your front yeah, line. The, yeah. The yeah, like maybe the Nova or something should have been in that position because they were doing two at extreme where this was doing one. But it held <sighs> up its its bargain. Yeah, I mean, it's so its and it's funny like it for the points cost. I guess it's the same as the Nova, and they both have eight total pips, right? It's true. You need six to put the Hellbringer into withdrawal. You need six to put the Nova into withdrawal, right? So in that regard, they're sort of the same survivability. Well, and that's because the Nova the has the, yeah. the um, yeah, the odd number in turn. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you end up going to withdraw at the same time, even though it has more right. or less. Yeah. 
pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, the vulture. <gasps> Such a good one. You don't like the vulture, huh? No, no, I love it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the vulture. I love the design of the vulture, and I like how it plays. The one config I played on the other... Well, you had the Prime and the C the last time we yeah. played. I really... I actually think both of them are great, and they're the different Prime is roles. substantially more expensive. I think it's a yeah. ten, like maybe ten points. But it does, yeah. But it's a good mech, and that that's another vulture is like movable. It moves five. Yeah, it's it's and nice. You know, any of those mechs like that have that very consistent damage profile. It's like three, 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 two. You know, or like four, four, three, two. Like those are liquid gold. Yeah. Um, the Summoner A, I used that last week. That's like that. It's another great one. Yeah. When I'm gonna see Nikolai that's... Malthus come out. Maybe next, maybe next time. Gotta check the cannon. Gotta say, oh, I gotta paint up the Somerset Strikers. Ooh, but and the last of my list, elementals, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and say no. Yeah. Yeah, they're 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 good, but they're expensive, and they don't move very fast. Yeah. Or maybe they do. I know. I mean, they, they sprint they, five. They move as fast as an atlas, so it's what not terrible. Uh, yes. You know, I have mixed feelings on them because I think you want to build your list to either support elementals or not, right? So, you know, people, as you pointed out, have made comments that clans really excel at range. They do, they, you know, really good job at range. Um, but, and that's that's a product, like you said, of, you know, their high TMM, 2D6 probability curve, lower gunnery, like, like you're hitting more, you're taking less fire. Like that's all well and good. And they're more fragile, so it's harder to get them in close. So, like, what are you doing with elementals mounted to your mech if you don't plan on getting in close? So either you're building your force to get in, yeah, right, or you're not. Or you're playing a schizophrenic list, you know, where you have, and you, then you're breaking up your strategy, like I, you know, which well, is like how like you did, are. right? And that mislink, you felt this, pressured to get it in, right? And I put it into a where, whereas realistically, if you didn't have elementals on it, you probably could have sat it in the back and just done one to two damage the whole game. Yeah, you and, know? and kept it for when I needed to cap that. That's a good point. And, but, you know, that's think about it. 40 points for those two elementals. I'd rather take uh, an upgun to adder, you know, like a skill three or skill two adder, right, whatever. God, um, having two of those adders, you know, the same config on the board would have been... Skill two adder might be more than 40 points. But regardless, you get the points pretty close. 43, I think. Is that what it, is that what it comes down to? Oh, so, I'm, I'm looking at four. Oh, that's right. It's printed on our card, isn't it? What's skill two? Yeah. 42. That's 42, so pretty close, right? So... You know, I, I don't know, I'd rather work that into my list and, and tweak some of the other variants around than have two bases of elementals. Yeah. You know, now if you're doing something thematic, I think they're awesome looking and they're ton, they're a ton of fun to have. Or if you're doing like a take and hold mission where you know you're going to be a point blank range, yeah. like I'd bring a exactly. bunch of them. So rotors, good, bad, you like still like them? Oh, I still like yeah. them. Yeah, I, like I them mean, too. they're they're so cheap. What do they cost? Like 11 or 15. I think they're 15 They're points. too much fun too. I mean, um, yeah, they, I mean, they don't sprint, right? You can't sprint them. That's just, so they move nine. They move that's nine. all you get. But you know, again, the elevation change, you can, you can spot things really easily. They're difficult to hit. They're super annoying. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do kind of wish I had more indirect fire, um, mm. in this lands because I would love to spot with a, with a warrior and just dump tons of, you know, LRM, indirect LRMs in. Using your helicopter spotters. Yeah. You can I just hide. I love it. But. <laughs> but what about formations and stuff? Yeah, we could get into it. Do we want to? I think so. You, of course, want I to. I love formations. I mean, you, you've you said it. I love list building. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, my least I think favorite. there are some really cool things you can do with list building. However, you know, it may hamstring the clans even more. Do they cost you know? points? They don't. No. You just, just have to conform to them to get right. the benefit. Like but anything. it's fairly easy. Uh, but I think the way the clans are... I, We'll have to sit down and, and scope some lists out, but yeah. like the way clans are, the you know the points are kind of all over the place, and like you gotta be careful you have an assault variants. mech and an adder in the same thing. Like you're not gonna be able to fit that into a battle lance, or maybe you you know like yeah. there's all sorts of goofy stuff you gotta look at. Yeah, this is great though. Again, I had a total blast. Good yeah, job. Yeah, it was great. It was. Great. I hate to lose, but um, you know, it was a it was a really fun match, and I think at the end, I. I Got a little pride back. I mean, you almost, I mean, I think you almost stole it. I mean, it had you, you know, if, if I would have missed all my shots, you know, which was feasible because I needed seven or better, you know. If I would have got one more. Oh, and maybe yeah. one more round, you could have, or one more pip on the one archer, you know, on and the then you kind of turn around and double team, 
you know, you could have run away from the Thunderbolt and double teamed the Marauder. You know, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? It, it was close. It was a close Taking one. the tank out pretty quick. I forgot about the tank. Yeah. He was he was good. He he was still all those. And that's the other back. thing. I love. We're, we're, I mean, digressing, but I love, I love, armor. I love the tanks, the bulldogs, the goblins. These cheap like mid twenty point. But the you strikers. did forty two. Oh yeah, I mean, just, it's just you. I, I see tanks. the imperial guards sitting right there. They were great. It's dirty, dirty. So good. Yeah, they are. No, no, I, I totally agree. It's really fun on the lists on the board to play against. I mean, that's flavor too. Like to it's weird. Yeah, right. it is. It's really fun to see them just kind of like brrr, popping around. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Yeah, and then they, they kind of duck back in. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, kind yeah. of duck back into cover. It yeah. yeah, it is really. It was fun. <laughs> it was cool. You know, I think uh, I read a comment earlier. And somebody was like, man, I'm really hoping for some, you know, combined arms in the next one. I was like, well, buddy, got most, mostly everything. You got yeah. the, you know, got infantry, well, your battle armor, your tanks, your VTOLs, your mechs. It's quite a, what, quite what a spread. What were Just, um, Aerospace and, and, and like underground. The, right, the regular infantry. Underground. The mole, mole man. Yeah, the mole. <laughs> the mole. <laughs> like, Wait, grew. Yeah, the what, minions. But the, there was a unit in 40K that did that too, right? Yeah, Came yeah. up with drills. Yes, absolutely. Works. Why don't we have drills on a mining world? I don't know. I'll Same. work on it. I'll work on it. But a few things. Start kit bashing. <clears throat> Speaking oh. of tanks, guys, Ares games and minis, uh, all your Ironwood medals needs. Also, a whole line of army painter stuff. They've got the uh, the box sets, Game of Armor Combat, the beginner box, and of course, all the new Kickstarter stuff will be on his site very soon. So keep an eye well, out for yeah, that. Yeah, he's got the. The box up, I know. The Clan Invasion box. Oh, the Clan Invasion box. I don't. I, I think he said he's going to get them in the next couple weeks. So. so very exciting. So guys, keep your eyes out. That's on the way. Uh, also, we have some great terrain on the table from X Marks. Um, so the uh, the refinery with all the pipes, very cool. That was an X Marks piece. Um, lots of stuff you'll see on the channel from from X Marks. So lots of great stuff I love uh, there. And again, Polygon Masterworks. Thanks for uh, sending over that atlas. Uh, it was a couple. One of he sent me over a couple atlases. Um, you know, we saw the one the Oberon uh, Confederation. You played that one actually, um, and then this one I've been I've been forget. waiting to pull out. So uh, very cool, really great, really great miniatures. Yeah. Um, I, I think some of the best quality um, for those MWO sculpts. So if you're looking for that style, uh, definitely check out Polygon Masterworks. And can I? You may. Can, can I make the pitch for? It? And if you like the content that you watch tonight. Hours of our life, <laughs> and even more hours of Aaron's life to edit it all. Uh, oh, Patreon, oh. we would love some support on Patreon. It funds yeah. all of this, the lights, the cameras, the, the, the action. Yeah, it lets us know that it's valuable enough to you. Um, so if you're apt to do it, sign yeah. up on Patreon, get access. You can even start, you know, voting, voting on, on Tom's list. list. I yeah. know, I yeah. love it. I'm, yeah. I'm so For as little as a dollar a month, Tom. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Control That's my 25 life. cents a week. Control a small part of my life. That's right. And you can control a small part of Tom's life. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, no, that's true. And, of course, um, you know, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so yeah. on YouTube. That's, if you that's, don't want to pay or can't pay, still subscribe. I mean, that, that's epic. And then uh, you can listen to our soundtrack. Uh, look up Death From Above Wargaming on Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, all the major streaming services. That also helps out the channel, too. But that's a pretty great soundtrack. And, and also, it helps out your ears. It's pretty, it's pretty rad. And your painting mood. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this, uh, this clan invasion battle report. Uh, and of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Guys, have a great night.